Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this New Year's Eve look. I decided to do more of a silver black smoky eye. I generally do more warm browns, gold, so I just wanted to do something different for the end of the year. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NARS eyelid primer and I'm going to put this all over my eye from eye to brow bone and this is just going to help my colors stay in place all night because um, you know you're going to be party hard. Party hard. Yes. No. Then I'm going to take this Mika Beauty eyelid primer and I like this because it conceals any darkness. It just brightens up the eye and it's a really good base for the rest of the shadows that I'm going to put down. I'm taking this, um, I think it's a Coastal Scents flat shader brush with the shade Buff from the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm just putting that all over as a base color. Now I'm taking my Sigma E40 with the shade Nectar and I am just using that as a transition color, I'm just kind of blowing it out all over the crease and above the crease. Now I'm going to take my Sigma E35 with the shade light brown and I'm kind of placing that a little bit more precisely on the crease. Um, I just like the, the layering of those two shadows. And now um, with no additional product I'm just kind of blending both of those shades together. Now I'm going to take this NYX um, jumbo eye pencil in black bean and I'm just gonna put that on like the outer kind of outer half more outer V outer, outer third of the eye and then I'm just gonna use this um, real techniques domed shadow brush and I'm just using that to blend out the black um, this does take a while and you have to be really patient and just kind of keep the blending as precise as possible I'm adding a little bit more just to make that um, as deep as possible and now I'm taking from the Lorac Pro 2 palette um, the shade black and I'm just using that to set the eye pencil and also to help with the blending you guys are gonna see that I'm going back and forth a lot with this look I feel like with anything smoky you kind of have to do that I'm taking my Sigma E38 and the shade cool gray and I'm just using this in the crease I really really love this brush because it really gets into that crease and it helps me keep that color or any color I use really precise and then this is just kind of blending that transition and crease color with the black now I'm taking my MAC 239 and the shade silver and I'm just packing that on um, the inner half of the eyelid and then going back with that real technique um, I, I don't I, I think I'm adding a little bit of black just to blend it and then more silver and more black and more blending and a lot of freaking blending. You just have to be patient with these types of looks um, but the end result is beautiful. I'm adding some Fix Plus to my MAC 239 and I went into my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I took the shade Revolt. This shade is so beautiful and when you add a little bit of Fix Plus, oh my god, it just foils up just like a dream so yeah I keep I just pack that on and now I'm blending some more I'm taking the Sigma E35 with the shade light brown and nectar and I'm just blending kind of blending the crease with the cool gray and just making sure that everything stays as blended as possible and then I'm adding do, I'm just doing the same with the Sigma E38 just adding a little bit more of the cool gray just with every step that you do, always make sure that you blend. Just go back and blend. Um, I'm taking a little bit more of that Revolt and just making that um, silver as vibrant as possible because when you blend, it kind of blends away. <laughs> and then I like um, with the black, you can just like make it a transition from like silver to chrome to black. Now I'm taking um, this little wing brush from Royal and Langnico. I got it at Michael's. It's just a little tiny wing brush. And I like to use this, not winged, I'm sorry, slanted brush. And I like to use this as an eyeliner. And then I'm using, as you guys saw, the Inglot, the Inglot gel liner 
the black one which is number 77 this is like my second time trying this liner and I like it so much um, it's so black and it really does stay in place so far I haven't had a problem with it and it's so inexpensive I paid like $13 for it I was like what now I'm taking my elf um, smudge brush with the shade snow and I'm using this as a highlight you can also use old like a matte highlight but I don't know I wanted to keep it shimmery and crazy I'm just going in with that nectar and the Sigma E35 <laughs> just to blend the um, the brow bone highlight um, now I'm just cleaning up with a makeup remover and I'm adding some Tarte's Light Camera Lashes Mascara. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I'm so obsessed with it. I'm taking my Ardell Wispy Lashes with some Duo Glue and I'm just placing that because, you know, you just gotta get as fancy and glamorous as possible for New Year's Eve. Everybody's like going crazy with glitter and why not? It's fun. So I just um, tried to place these lashes on my eye like as close to my eyelash line as possible. I'm just using the front of the line um, eyeliner from Lorac to hide that band. And I'm taking a little bit more um, of that Revolt shade with more Fix Plus just to, again, keep that silver as vibrant as possible. As you guys saw, I placed some tape um, just to kind of help keep that cat eye if you guys can want to do that at the beginning It really does help to keep everything really clean Okay, now I took my hourglass um, Mineral veil primer, and I'm just using that as my first primer um, This really just helps with my oils and to make my makeup last as long as possible And now I'm taking the Smashbox pore minimizing primer, and this is just wonderful to minimize your pores So I really like this um right before my foundation and these two together are just perfection for me now I'm taking my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and this is in Tawny which I think is 2W2 and I'm using my Sigma F80 Kabuki to press that onto the skin this is an amazing foundation and it's like my only high-end foundation but it really keeps you matte and really really is long wearing and it has great coverage so i feel like for a night like this this is just wonderful it's just a wonderful foundation to use however i don't really think it photographs that nicely like that wonderfully but you know whatever i'm like spot concealing with this foundation because i have been breaking out um so i'm just kind of using that to spot conceal and i'm pressing that onto the skin as well now I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro, Pro Conceal Concealer <laughs> in the shade Creamy Beige, I think. And I'm pretty sure it's Creamy Beige. And I'm just using this to highlight my, under my eyes to conceal and to highlight my face, my, what is it? My, my nose, my lips under my nose. What? Oh my goodness. What the heck is that called? My Cupid's bow. There we go. And just kind of try to keep the face as bright as possible and blending that out with this Sigma Taper Blending Brush. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm using the shade Banana. And I'm using this e.l.f. Taper Brush to set that concealer. And I, this is like my first time using it and I love it. I love that little kit. Oh, that's so perfect. Now I'm going to take this cool tone shade, I think it's either Java or Havana, I'm pretty sure it's Java. And I'm using this e.l.f. angled blush brush to kind of lay out a very light contour. I don't want to get too crazy with the contour because my eye look is pretty intense. But just to kind of lightly contour and give dimension to the face. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. I'm taking the Smashbox Suntan Matte Bronzer. This is so beautiful. I recently purchased this and I love it. And I'm using this e.l.f. Uh, stipple brush to 
um, place that all over the skin, like on the contours of my skin to kind of warm everything up. And because I want a light contour and light bronze, I am setting my face after I contour, which is not something I normally do, but I wanted to do it. And I use my Rimmel Stay Matte in Transparent with my e.l.f. Kabuki. And for blush, I am using NARS Blush in Douceur. Douceur. Um, I'll link it down. I'll either link it down below or I will put it down below so you guys can see. And I use my Real Techniques blush brush to blend that onto the skin. And now I'm taking my Becca Moonstone Highlight. It's really pretty, really like really vibrant, really stark, and I wanted that kind of pop for New Year's Eve. And I just used my Elf um, blush brush to do so. Now I'm taking this Elf flat definer with the shade Shark Charcoal, Charcoal, <laughs> and I am just like placing that really close to the lower lash line. And now I'm gonna do not the same thing with the shade black but i'm gonna keep it on the outer third outer v of that lower lash line oh my god these faces <laughs> now i'm taking my Mil milani oh my god what is wrong with me i am taking my milani liquid eye in black and i'm using this to tight line and to line my waterline Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Uh, I think it's the Finding Crease Brush and the shade Cool Gray. And I'm just going to use this to smoke out that black and charcoal color. And I don't want to like bring the smokiness too low, but I do like to smoke out my lower lash line. I feel like it really opens up your eyes. Now I'm taking my Sigma E30 Pencil Brush and the shade Light Brown and Nectar to blend out all that all those dark colors just to make them as seamless as possible now i'm taking that same pencil brush and i'm using the shade snow to highlight my inner corner just kind of again keeps the eye open and just very like sparkly and beautiful and it's such a beautiful white highlight white shimmery highlight now I'm using that same Tarte Mascara to, I just did one coat on my lower lashes. But this mascara is so amazing that that's all you really need, honestly. I am so in love with it. I'm taking this NYX lip liner in the shade Plum. I wanted my lips to be more of like the pop of color and I recently finally found this lipstick that I'm going to use. I have been looking for it everywhere and I just knew like I had to use it. Like this was the look that I wanted to do and I knew that I couldn't do it without this lipstick. And this is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Aria. Oh my god, it was so complicated, like so difficult for me to find this shade. It sold out everywhere. And by a miracle, I found it in um Two JC Pennies, like in the Sephora's and the JC Penny. Oh, I was so happy. I'm just setting my face with my Urban Decay, just, um, not just like all nighter setting spray because you want your makeup to last all night. And I'm using my Milani Clear Brow Gel to set my eyebrows because I like to do that last. This is what the completed look looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you guys so much for this year. And I'm just so like humbled and grateful that I reached 200 subscribers. That was my goal for the end of the year. And I just love you guys so much. And yeah, thank you. Just have a blast and be safe. See you guys soon. Bye.